Tomorrow's moon rocket launch is made possible thanks to a local company. ABC 10's Brendan Minshev spoke with a local NASA engineer about the engines and the spacecraft that they built for this launch. Artemis 1 will launch early Monday morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida atop Launch Pad 39B, the same pad where Apollo 10 and 53 space shuttle missions began, which is appropriate considering the rocket has a large number of repurposed shuttle parts. David probably knows that better than anyone. He's the Orion Production Chief Engineer for Sacramento-based Aerojet Rocketdyne. The space shuttle main engines, so there used to be three of these on the base of each space shuttle. Uh, there are now four of these hanging off the bottom of the SLS rocket. There were two smaller engines hanging off either side of the space shuttle, and, and those engines were used for maneuvering out in space. Those engines originally designed and developed qualified right here in Sacramento back in the 70s and the 80s. Uh, they are now being repurposed uh, for service or for use as the main engine on the service module. So that would be the engine that, that drives the, the space capsule all the way to its destination and then back to Earth. The launch window opens at 5.33 a.m. Pacific time, so be sure to tune in to ABC 10 Morning News. Tomorrow morning, we're going to take you to, the, we're going to actually take this launch live, both on air and on our ABC 10 app. And we'll also have Brendan's extended interview with the Aerojet Rocketdyne uh, on our website. That's ABC10.com.